Hello mangoes, today we are going to do a beautiful total body Barbie Ladies workout to help you tone up your body and to feel good. So if you're ready, just draw your mat and let's do this together. Alright, so if you're ready, just draw your mat and let's do this together. Now let's start by stand tall with your back in neutral, pull the belly button all the way in, relax your shoulders. Now keep your feet towards the center, inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and a couple more times with your own breath now rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and reverse and now inhale, bring your arms to the sides lift your arms up and bring your arms down again a couple more times here do it slowly and use the breath to control the movement inhale and exhale down and slowly keep your feet towards the center lift one leg to the side and lean on one side come back so you're gonna feel the side of your body is lengthening very good keep breathing inhale and exhale Three, two, and last one. And shift your torso to the opposite side, knee, and come back. And three, two, go as far as you can, and last one. And slowly bring your feet back to the center, rotate your shoulders. Now open your legs wider than your hips, rotate your toes to the side. And now start to shift your torso to one side, lift your leg up and down for 10 times. Your arms to the side and keep parallel to the ground. So make sure you relax your shoulders. And three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your torso to the other side. Lift and down, come back. Make sure you engage your abs by pulling the belly button in. And contract your pelvic floor muscles. And last one, lift and down. And slowly bring your feet back to the center. Open your toes wide to the V stands. Your hands behind your head and lift your heels up and down. For a couple more times. Keep breathing. Bring your hands down, open your legs wide, then lift your heels up and down for 10 times. Squeeze your booty, try to look slowly and slowly bring your hands down. Rotate the feet toward the center. Good! And now I wanted to allow yourself to bring your hands behind your head. Lift one leg to the side and knee up to the front and come back a couple more times with your own breath. And three, two, and last one. And slowly open your arm to the side and bring your knee towards the arm and come back. Lengthen the arms. Shift your whole body to one side. Soften the knee if it's easier for the ankle. And keep breathing. Last one. And gonna go to the opposite side. So again, inhale, come back. 10 times in total. Keep breathing. Stabilize the hips. Only your leg is moving. Your torso is stabilized as well. And last one. And slowly open your arm to the side again. Bring your arm towards the knee and come back. In three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your hands back to the center. Take a deep inhalation. Bring your arms over your head and try to bring your leg all the way backward. 
Try to lift as far as you can without moving your hips so stabilize your hips. Pull the belly button in, really engage those abs. And two, and last one. I'm gonna move to the opposite side. So inhale, lift, exhale down, and come back. Beautiful. Squeeze your booty, squeeze your inner thighs, engage your abs. And two, and last one. And slowly bring your feet back to the center. Take it. Good. And now one step forward and one leg backward. Lunge down and bring your arms to the front. Make a little pause for a couple more times. Engage your abs. And go. Rotate the torso to one side and come back. In this movement, make sure you stabilize the hips. Only your torso is rotating. That's beautiful. And three, two, and last one. And slowly switch to the opposite side. Again, make a little pulse. Relax your shoulders. And three, two, one, and slowly rotate, come back. Inhale and exhale, engage your abs. And make sure your knee on top of the ankle. That's beautiful. Inhale and exhale. And three, two, and last one. And slowly step to the front. Lengthen the spine and come to the beginning of the mat. Now inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, round your spine. Roll all the way down, hands on the mat. And come back slowly on the exhalation. Inhale and exhale, round. Inhale again and exhale, lengthen the spine. And couple more times, look at your own breath. And last one. And slowly bring your torso back to the center. That's amazing. Now step one foot forward and one leg backward. And lift your arms up, legs up. Flex your torso to the front and then come back. Try to keep a balance here on your right foot. So really soften the knee anytime if you feel like it's easier for you. Really engage your abs and only go to the part that you feel that you can control and bring it back to the balance. Amazing. One more time. Inhale down. Lengthen. Exhale. Come back. And switch to the opposite side. So again, flex forward. And inhale. Come back. Engage your abs, do it slowly with your own breath. And two. And last one. And slowly bring your feet back to the center. Awesome. Rotate your shoulders and then reverse. Now for the next movement, I wanted to allow yourself to open and bring one leg to the side, your arms to the front of your chest and rotate the torso, come back. Extend the ankle, shift your whole weight to one foot. So your hips stabilized, engage your abs. That's awesome. You can lift your heel off the mat for the last five moves if it's more challenging for you. Listen to your balance and then switch to the opposite side. the mat. Now open your arms to the side, leg to the side again, lift your leg up, make a little pose on the leg. And slowly to the opposite side, try to bring as high as you can. And slowly bring your feet down to the mat. Alright, now the next movement, I wanted to bring your hands on your waist and kick your leg backward and then bend your knee to the front. You can always open your arm to the side to make it easier for the balance. And also make it a little bit challenging with the arms muscles and the shoulders muscles here. And don't make any tension on your shoulders, relax your shoulders and stabilize the hips.
in three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your torso to the opposite side, switch. Now again, kick backward and knee forward, open your arm to the side and do the same with the legs. In three, two, slowly, and last one. That's amazing, guys. All right, now for the next movement, open your toes to the side and your legs wider, knee down and come back. Inhale and exhale. Your arms going up when you bend your knees and then bring it back. Engage your abs still. You can slightly flex your whole torso forward if it's easier for the lower back. So listen to your body, just slightly and gently with the move. Alright, and when you're ready, go all the way to the beginning of the mat around your spine. Walk your hands to the front, kick your leg up, try to make a little pause. and go to the opposite side you want to feel the most on your booty muscles so you don't have to lower your hips alright, now shift your torso to the front go to full plank lower your hips in this movement and then bring your knee to the front and kick back so we're gonna try to do the combination of the move on each side once and then switch to the opposite side Awesome. And last one. And slowly to the other side and knees bend. Come to try pose, take a deep inhalation and exhale deeply through your mouth. Good. Now come to lift your hips all the way up, extend one ankle and lift the, that leg up. So as high as you can and bring it down slowly with control. Squeeze your inner thighs. Lift your opposite heel off the mat, so that way it's more challenging. But you feel free to lower your heel if it's easier for you. And two, and last one. And we are going to move to the opposite side. So extend the ankle, lift it up, and down, and lift, and down. For a couple more times with your own breath. And two and last one awesome now bring your feet back to the center walk forward all right now come to own four position lengthen your opposite arm and leg up lift your leg and bring it down slowly try to bring your leg as high as you can and two and last one and switch to the opposite side lengthen Lift and down. Shoulders far away from your ears, so you should stabilize your shoulders here. And two, and last one, and slowly bring your arm down. Come to reverse V, so your hips all the way up. Move your feet further away and shift your hip to the front and then come back. Bend your knee to go with your torso and back to the center, to the other side. Do it slowly, and when you bring it to the front, make sure your shoulders on top of the end, your wrist, and soften your elbows. Don't have to go so far. Your hips down, so that way you can keep your back lower, your hips lower. That's beautiful. Inhale, and slowly bring your knees down. Come to tripods, take a deep inhalation, and exhale. Awesome. Now allow yourself to come to sit along the mat. Lift your knees off the mat. Lengthen to the other side. So lengthen your leg and switch. Make sure you engage your abs in this position. Try to open your chest as far as you can. 
Make sure you feel comfortable on your lower back. You can gently ride your spine and don't have to lift your legs so high. Only to the point that you feel good with the lower back. And slowly bring your feet down. Now, try to lift both legs up at the same time and lift your arms up and down. If you're a beginner, feel free to put your whole feet down to the mat. Otherwise, try to challenge yourself a little bit and try to keep balance while lifting your arms up and down. That's amazing, inhale. And exhale. And lift and down. And a couple more times and slowly bring your feet down around your spine. Take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright, next movement, sit tall, lengthen the spine, arms up and bring your arms forward, lean backward, come back again. 10 times, see with your own breath, press your feet down, you can open your feet hip width apart if it's easier for the balance. Keep lengthening your spine in this position. And last one. And slowly bring your hands down. Good. And now allow yourself to go to umpa position again. I wanted to inhale, lengthen one leg, lift your leg as high as you can, come back and to the side and back to the center. Ten times of this combination. Do it with your own speed. Squeeze your body and pull the belly button all the way in. Last one, and lift and down, and we are switch to the opposite side. Make sure that your shoulders on top of the wrist. Pull the belly button in and stabilize your hips. Only your leg is moving. Really engage your abs. with the part at your back and round your spine, cat and cow. Inhale, do it slowly and round your spine, go all range of movement that you feel comfortable with. Awesome. Inhale and exhale. And last one. And round and bring your back back to neutral. Tuck your feet, lift your hips all the way up, start to step and knee bend like we're walking with the head down <laughs> good so keep breathing and a couple more times with your own breath and last one and slowly open your legs see with the part to make it easier for the balance round your spine walk your hand back and stand up open your feet to the v stance and lift your heels up and down again a couple more times with your own breath And rotate your torso to one side, come back. You can open your leg wider if it's easier for the balance. Your heels off the mat if you want more challenge with the balance. Otherwise, just put your whole feet down to the mat if it's easier for you. Listen to your body. And three, your hips stabilized. Two. And last one, rotate to the opposite side. Alright, and now bring your feet back to the center. Lift your leg to one side, come back with your ankle flex. Engage your abs one more time. You're gonna go to the opposite side. Inhale up, exhale down. And last one. And slowly. Bring your feet back to the center, rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and come back. Reach your hand to one side and to the opposite side and a couple more times. Inhale and exhale. And slowly bring your 
round your spine and hug your torso forward and then open like we're hugging a big tree and last one rotate the wrist and then reverse rotate your shoulders and rotate your head and reverse one more time and ro reverse now lift your arm up pull your elbow backward and to the other side hold it for a couple seconds and slowly back to the center interlace your fingers backward and lift and down a couple more times Alright, and now rotate your wrist again. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Inhale and exhale. And a couple more times here, or just as long as you need to. And that's the book after that. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next video.